I'm Stephen Benz, coming to you from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I'm going to read two poems from my collection, Americana Motel, published by Main Street Rag Publishing Company. As the title suggests, the collection documents instances of Americana. There are poems about travel, poems about work, poems about encounters with various people along the way. And the first poem I'm going to read is a work poem, an elegy for a co-worker. It's called Elegy One Year Since He Died. I've carted the last of the leaves to the pile. The quad is raked clean. The air is damp, misty, and cold. Across campus, the lights in administration flicker and glow. There are rumors of more budget cuts, furloughs, layoffs. Memos tell us we must do more with less. All the way back to the shop, the wheelbarrow rattles and squeals. Just last year, the old man guided me through these chores. We worked together while the rain beat down and glossed the yellow leaves. Once, he waved me over to see what his rake had discovered, a colony of small white mushrooms. His lessons were always the same. There's a right way and a wrong way. Everything has its time and place. Don't worry over what you can't control. Behind his back, I scoffed and longed to quit the job I thought I loathed. Now he's been gone a year, and I know just what he would say these days. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. On the service road behind Taft Hall, I look off into the woods and see a doe staring me down, stock still. At the storage shed, just like he taught me, I return my tools to their rightful places. So for more information about this book, please visit the Main Street uh, RAG website. That's www.mainstreetrag.com. I also have a personal website with information about my publications, and that is www.stephenconleybenz.com. So the second poem I'm going to read is a travel poem, and it is about a landmark on old Route 66, so kind of a nostalgic uh, poem, and it's called Hopi House. There's nothing left of Hopi House, rest stop for the road weary, 10 miles west of Winslow on old Route 66. The diner served up hotcakes and sausage links, Cowboy music played on a radiant jukebox. My brother colored the paper placemat. Outside, snow flurries rode the winter wind. There's nothing left of the motel, the Texaco, the adobe facade painted with kachinas and thunderbirds, Hopi women working looms and carrying pots on their heads. My father waited with the car at the pumps while a gas jockey in cap and bow tie checked oil, air, and water. There's nothing left of the trading post, the curiosities and wonders within, Navajo rugs, mineral rocks, petrified wood, a chance to see rattlesnakes under glass. My mother searched her purse for coins and let us choose one souvenir each, mine, a polished birthstone soon carelessly lost. There's nothing left of Hopi House, nothing at all. I stood at the crossroads where it used to be. The wind blew hard, a chill in the high desert air. The sacred mountain wavered in gritty haze. Tumbleweeds skittered across the highway. A raven lit on a rock to let me know. There's nothing left, nothing left, nothing at all. So once again, the book is Americana Motel by Stephen Benz. It's available from Main Street Rag Publishing Company, www.mainstreetrag.com. And thanks for listening.